What's going on YouTube? Mike be here welcoming you back, yes, back to episode number two of our Pokemon Moon Let's Play here on the channel. Now if you didn't catch episode number one which went up a couple hours ago, well I guess it's gonna be a little bit longer because I have to edit everything. But anyways, if you didn't catch it, make sure you go check it out. It's linked down in the description below. But to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what did happen, we began our adventure here in the Alola region. We met uh, Professor Kukui, we met the, ca the, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island, we met Lily who has a secret Pokemon who I am excited to figure out what that is all about. And we picked our first starter, as you can see on the layout below, Dapper the Rowlet, um, which is our team recap because that's all we have. But for anything else, make sure you hit that thumbs up if you are excited to be a part of the experience. And if, and only if the fr only friends you need this weekend are in 3D and shoot fire out of their mouths, subscribe, because I probably won't get out of this computer chair all day. Now, let's go ahead and continue on our adventure. I believe we have to head to Mom's house. Mom's house, where we are going to show her a brand new friend and actually get into some dialogue. Who is this? Um, a new voice. This might be our rival. Like, totally, bro. Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. Oh, where's the fire boy? And uh, what kind of Pokemon battle would you like her to have when you don't even have a... Give us a name first. My name's Mikey B. Like, fair enough, dude. Like, totally. I'm Hal. I and my partner is Poplio. Your Rowlet looks a really. Your Rowlet looks really cool too, man. Thanks. Yeah, so let's battle, dude. Like, totally. I just got here with my backpack, and I totally crossed over Hotel Transylvania, dude. I can't wait for you to find a way. Uh, find your way to Iki Town. Uh, so I've been looking all over for you. Hello there, um, I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Well then, got a little crush on me, it's cause I'm wearing my Gryffindor shirt, I've been sorted. <sighs> um, okay, he was, um, uh, how do you do, how, okay, uh, how do you do Jamaican? I just, I just completely am blanking right now. Your first, but no, that's, uh, what did I, how do I, I, I have to say a word to get into character. Um, yeah, man, your first battle already. There we go. Yeah, man, just have your Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins. Wahoo! I appreciate your willing to take on a micro on this one here. I expect no holds but battle from uh, both of you. Here we go, our first Pokemon battle. Rowlet, I choose you. You wanna battle me, right? Like, totally, dude. I know I'll win, right? Yeah, and, uh, I won't lose because, bro, I'm a baller, I'm a Pokemon master. You know what I'm after. Step to me, it'll be a disaster. Like, very well then, dude. Let's, oh, very well. Let the uh, Pokemon battle begin. I was gonna say that. Now we're up against, uh, ro Now we're up against a Poke Trainer, how? And I just don't even know how we could get into this battle but he's leading with the water i will send out my dapper and he will go fodder because we're gonna grass type all over him wow look at this is the battle screen this is so cool let's fight and we're gonna use leafage because it's super effective so maybe we have two rivals one has the weaker mon and one has the stronger to our typing nice and two shot those super effective poplio uses pound pop like poplio dude use pound man Let's go ahead, Leafage with 40 PP. It does outspeed, so we are speed tied. He must be a hardy nature, or at least not a negative or positive nature for his uh, super effective critical hit. And that is gonna knock out that beautiful little Poplio and we gain some experience, which will grow us to level six. Plus two HP, okay, and one to just about everything else. Right on Radical Dappers coming through. You defeated Poke Trainer how? Hoo-wah, man, like totally, here's a hundred dollars. There we go. Uh. Ha, woo, that gave me, that gave me chicken skin. That's a weird, <laughs> goosebumps chicken skin, I get it. Mikey B, right? Your rallet was totally awesome, bro, like radical. Now that that settles it, I'm all out tomorrow. I'm going all out tomorrow. Hmm, Mikey Abby, would you be so kind as to give me that sparkling stone that you have right there? No, it's mine, bro. You can buy it from me or you can rent a ticket on the Museum of Mikey FB. Could it be? Tutu, like, is that? You're rescued by a tabu cocoa at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Mikey B? Yeah, like, it rescued me and everything, but I could have handled it myself. 
So even in disguise to... So it even disguised to give you a stone. Dis decided? I didn't even... What? Perhaps you are here in Alola, Mikey B, because it was meant to be. Oh, allow me to borrow the stone. No, it's my stone. For it not, I will return it to you tomorrow evening. It seems that you have the markings of a fine trainer. You must be honored to join our festival tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, ma, first thing, we gotta get home safe tonight, Mikey B. Lily, the two of you should, uh, you should come with us too, yeah. Wouldn't want you losing, wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You and that precious Pokemon of yours. Hello there, yes, I will keep an eye on. <clears throat> Pew -pew -pew. Hello there, oh, why would you try to escape the very moment I told you not to wander off? So we got a little mischievous Pokemon. Pokemon power. Hey, Pokemon power. Hey, make sure you answer the question of the day. It's on the layout below. It's a great way to say hey. Welcome back, Mikey B. So, what kind of Pokemon did you get? Don't keep me waiting. Coo, coo. What do you think of my Pokemon, Mom? Oh, I, oh, I think I'm falling in love. So why did you choose this sweetheart? Because it's cute. It's cute as a button. Well then, you picked right because I'd say that little charmer is definitely cute and cool. Okay, so, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, nice. The two of you look great together. I feel happy letting the, you pair up. Mer. Fun fact, mom was part of Team Rocket. Coo, coo. So what do we do now? Can we go on our adventure? Can I catch a Pokemon? Okay. The next day later. What a stunning sunset! Oh, today's the day finally unpacked. Question? Who could that be at the doorbell? Go see who it is, Mikey B. Yes, Mom. I will make you proud and not let you down. If somebody busts in my house, so help me if this is Kukui again. He's he's after my mama. Um, yeah, man, hey there, Mikey B, it's about time you set to the festival, yeah, but first, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer with your own Pokemon, I gotta show you something, come with me to Route 1, brother. Have fun at the festival tonight, sweetie, I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack everything, la every last box here, you'll see. You better make me proud like I make you proud, mom. They call me Norman Bates. Um, let's see, can I get items in here now? No, can, Mom, I wanna see your room. Do you have any boxes that I can unravel? Do you have anything in the closet? No, no skeletons I see. Okay. So, that must mean that um, it is time to ski-daddle on over to Route Numero Uno, where we will pro, ooh. Oh, oh. Mikey B like to, no, no, mm, -mm. Yeah, man, hurry it up, cousin. Pretend a Pokemon to use your agility. It'd be easier if you didn't have such tiny little quad muscles. I don't know why that guy is so obsessed with uh, his legs. They're not even that big, like, Route 1. Totally, yeah, over here, man! So what? So you know that the wild Pokemon in the grass jumps out of the tall grass, yeah, man! Now that you got a rallet there, you can fight the Pokemon, and you try to catch them too, wahoo! I'm gonna show you how to catch a wild Pokemon to so keep your eye on the prize. And I'm the prize. At least that's what your mom's gonna be saying. Oh! So we see a little, a picky pack. Okay, Rock Ruff. Look at the cute little Rock Ruff. Okay, so we need to fight. And he's going to tackle a tackle. And that is going to do a powerful into the red. Peck, I wonder if, if this is like uh, uh, Ruby and Sapphire where it can crit. You gotta weaken the Pokemon a bit before you lob a Pokeball at it. Where, um, if it crits, it can KO it, but it still counts as being caught. Like, you know what I'm saying? With the routes and Wally. -E. I got 50 Pokeballs. I did not become a Pokemon master by skill or training. I just spam items. Fun fact, that's what I do too. Three Shakes, you have been caught. That's a cool little animation, little la, 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 la. What was that? La, 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 la. Oh yeah! A wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if you get too close to them, but they'll join in the team. It'd be a great help for you. 
But if your Pokemon get all took it out before by fighting for you, just go home for a bit and talk to your mom. I'll show you. She'll lend you a hand. Or you can use some potions. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started. Stop it, brother. Hey, we got 10 Pokeballs and we catching some mods. Put them in our pocket and five potions along with that. So we put it in our medicine pocket. Why don't you have a little adventure of your own on the way to Iki Town? Yeah, take a care of Mikey B. Take a care of Rowlet Mikey B. So here we are in our first encounter here on route number uno. Numero uno is going to be a... Oh, wait, don't picky pack. I wonder if this is all that's in here. Go, Dapper! So we don't want this thing to KO us because that would be embarrassing, but we can go ahead and tackle it real quick. Dapper, use tackle! Ah. Uh, and we should be able to- ooh, how much is this gonna do? Good, okay, so we can just go ahead, let's fight it, let's tackle it, and then we'll probably run back and heal. Yeah. And that should not crit, good, good, don't crit me either. And, ooh, that does a little bit of damage, a little bit, but we can head to our bag here. Oh, I can just press Y? That's cool. Use a Pokeball, that's awesome, that's a great shortcut. Pokeball, go! One, two, three. Oh my gosh, that was so suspenseful and I have no idea why. Picky Peck was caught, so now we have to name ourselves our very first member to the team. I could press Y2 care. Uh, Picky Peck was added to the Pokedex. This is going to be the, it's a three stage Pokemon. Okay, registered like that cash moolah baby. It is um, the Woodpecker Pokemon. This Pokemon feeds on berries whose leftover seeds become ammunition for attacks it fires off from its mouth. Very cool. What does action do? <gasps> That's so cute! Um, okay, so we gotta give this thing a nickname. I mean, yeah, let's give it a nickname. Um, it's not a Nuzlocke, so we don't have to, but I would like to. I'm so used to Insurgents where I type on my keyboard. Um, let's name this thing... A Picky Peck. I'm going with... So we got Sammy the Picky Pack in the party, added to our party, on our party. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use it just yet, actually. I want to do some explorating before I decide, because I don't... Then this Let's Play, I only want to use it, like... I, I don't want to just bump up a team of six right quick. Obviously, I only want to use new Pokemon, Gen 7 Pokemon, but, um... La -da -da. Have you been having a good? Have you been having a good time? You look a bit tired. Let's take a break again, sweetie. La -da. Uh, 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 uh. So cool. Now we've got our team together. We've got Rowlet and we've got Picky Peck. Uh, this unpacking will be the death of me. So now we can head back up to Route One. Uh, let's see if we can get a couple more encounters. Just catch some things. I'll end up putting it into a PC once we get to a Pokemon Center. But um, like I said, this is going to be a Let's Play where we kind of explore together and we see that our next encounter is going to be maybe it's just a Picky Peck, maybe a Young Goose, a Young Goose. So I wonder, oh, and I wonder, whoa, 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 wonder. Can I just pitch a ball at it? Do you think it's gonna be like a Rattata where I can just catch it? Pokeball, go! Let's see, can we get our second member to the team? We got one, two, three. There it is, caught in the, I don't know why that took me so long to register, but we've got a young goose. So I, I could use a picky pack, a young goose. I would probably sooner use young goose because I already have a flying type. Um, that is going to be, ooh, nice! We got three HP and two defense. So, we see that Young Goose is going to be added to the Pokédex. And that is... Registered! Let's see what the, 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 the... Let's see what it says. This is the loitering Pokémon. It wanders around, never-ending search for food. At dusk, it collapses from exhaustion and falls into a deep sleep. What does it do? Rawr. Uh, let's name, yeah, let's give it a nickname. We'll just name this thing, um, we'll name it Grimace. Whoops. I think this is how you spell it. So we have Grimace. These are all coming off the cuff. No thought behind these names, especially spelling. If you did not know, this is still the beginning of a Let's Play. So if you are new to the channel, hi, my name is Mikey FB. I'm a terrible Pokemon player. I'm a terrible Let's Player. I'm a terrible YouTuber. And most and uh, most of all, I am a potion finder. But actually, most of all, I am a terrible, 
terrible speller. So we'll go for five battles. That's two, so this is three. We see a Caterpie, so I am just going to go ahead and catch this thing. I probably won't name it. But um, I do like to just... And I might cut some of this out. I'm not sure. Um, but I, I want to... I want to catch everything because I want to be a Pokemon master. You already know what I am after. Three. There we go. So we're going to catch that real quick. Um, but this is kind of what I do when I let's play my games for the first time. If you guys just want to see me get a little bit more story done and not so much and maybe I can backtrack between episodes, um, I might do that. But obviously this is a three-stage Pokemon Caterpie. It is registered and it is the, Cater the Caterpillar, the Worm Pokemon. Uh, we're not going to give this thing a nickname because I don't plan on using it. Uh, sorry for all you Caterpie fans out there. Let's just get two, two more encounters real quick. Maybe I can get like a Weedle also or something like that. Uh, uh, uh. Another Caterpie. Caterpie? I'm not going to do too much training here. Let's just run. Got away safely. And, um... Yeah, let's just get into one more battle real quick, see if there's anything else we can find. Um, if there's anything else that I'm missing, please tell me and I'll go back and try to capture it. But for now, I think that we're going to head up to, uh... Eerie Town? Is that it? I, I, Edie Town? Let's run, because I really don't I don't need the experience just yet. I probably will soon enough, but um, for now, I think we're just going to rock out with Rowlet on the team. Dapper our Rowlet. Oh, what do we have here? A Pokemon Trainer Battle. Let's do it to it. I'm going to sneak past you. Oh! Ooh, that's a cool little animation. When I have a Pokemon trainer me, it's time to battle. It is time to do the battles. So we have got ourselves Youngster Jimmy. Uh, Youngster Joey's semi-slow has a Rattata. Oh, an Alolan Rattata. Look at that. It's got a little mustache. Well, I've got a bow tie, so I'm much more hipster than you. And in such, I will just go for Leafage. Leafage. That should do a nice amount of damage. Nice amount of damage. But we avoid! We're dodging, and juking, and vibing, and weaving, and bobbing, and sliding, and grooving to the beat. Rowlet is here, moving your feet. Hey, Let's paint the Rattata. Give me this experience. You know that you had a... I lost, but that was still so exciting! So there we go. Our first Pokemon trainer battle that wasn't a rival. Right? Did we battle somebody yesterday? I don't think we did. Ooh. Oh, wow. It shows us that there's somebody coming up. That's cool. Um, hidden item over here, maybe? Maybe I can use Headbutt at some point to get something. Uh, let's go ahead and let's battle her. Da -da. I will show my sister. I don't know what that said because I'm not a good reader. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, last Audrey would like to battle Audrey from the Abyssal Cult. No, sends out a Caterpie. I know it's Caterpie. Blah, go Dapper! Dun, 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 dun. So let's go ahead and fight, and I will try not to do that noise again where I kind of hum sing. But we are level 7, you are level 3 Caterpie. We get a critical hit! Ooh, I need some leftovers on my Dapper. So let's go and see. This should be able to... No, it won't take it out. It'll be a 3 co, Unless we get that crit again. Okay, so he's going to slow me down. Unfortunately, unfortunately, now an extra turn is going to go by. This is so weird because this is the first time I've played harshly, though. My good golly, you're going to outspeed me. Um, oh, do you see the trainer in the background pointing? That is awesome. Um, this is the first time I've played a Let's Play on the channel here where I can't use the speed up button. So that's going to be a little bit hard to... What do I do? Care? What does that do? I had it! What does Kara do? Oh, so I can... Oh, oh, Snapples! What do I do here? Okay, so you're a little bit dirty, so I take... Do I take this? Uh, maybe I comb you? Let's get that. Oh my gosh! You're so dirty, Widow Wowit! I will take care of you! Oh yeah, there's one. There's two and three! Oh, look at your clean and dandy all again! That's pretty cool, so we have to do that. I don't know how, um... That was the cutest thing I've ever seen! Um, so, let's, now that, okay, I might do that in, like, not every battle, because that would become obnoxious. Um, but, does that heal our Pokémon, too? We found ourselves a Pokéball! So if we find another Pokémon in this patch of grass, let's just get into one battle right quick, like. 
Another picky peck, so I don't want to really take too much damage. Let's see if that healed me. No, it didn't, so that's going to be just working towards affection. We did get away safely, though, from the level 4 picky peck. So, okay, so we've got nothing over there. Uh, I think it's Edie Town, right? IDI? What do we got here? Route 1, the number one route. The number one route on the spectrum. I get it. Very, very punny. Um, oh, ooh, another item. So we are finding ourselves an antidote. So always good to have some medicine. Um, not so much so in a regular Let's Play when it's... The festival in Iki Town is going to start in evening and now we should hurry up and go. So, oh, okay. Oh, can I go down here? Oh, no, he's not going to let me go down there. The festival is going to start. Okay, you bully. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? There's another item. I am not against getting into battles because I'd love to find a rare encounter or maybe just a potion. We put that in our item pocket. We put it in our pocket. You know that I can lock it. If I had some money, I'd go to the mart and stock it. Oh, snaps for poetry. Uh, yo, fun fact, I can't really snap with my left hand, but I can with my right. I don't know why. You tell me. Pokemon can get experience by battling other Pokemon. Experience points help them grow stronger if you catch Pokemon. I know how to... Okay, I don't know why I was reading that so intently. Like, that... That guy looks kind of deadly. He's ready to battle. Should I sneak around him? Nah, I'm about to get this money! Oh, please battle me! I have a very deep voice for a five-year-old. Preschooler Oliver. So, Preschooler Oliver, you send out a Young Goose. So, we know what to do against a Young Goose. We send out Dapper. And, um... We're just gonna... What is it called? What is our move called? It is Leafage. We are going to Leafage you. Is that... Have you been saying that right? I don't know. I don't know. But that is gonna be enough to Tuco you. Um... Man, my nose is itchy for some reason. I just showered and I think there might be a hair on it. Yo, my nose looks red. They called me Rudolph the red Nose Mikey. The Red Nose Stantler, haha, -ha, get that Pokemon reference. Anyways, we faint the Young Goose. We gain a little bit of experience, almost enough to grow us to level 8. If you're strong, please go away! Please. The Mike Man! So there's that. We've defeated the trainers, and I think it's time to get this item, get this money. Uh, we do run into a Pokemon, though. Can we get a new one? I'd love to see another 7th Gen Pokemon here. No, I think those are the only three that we can catch. Maybe Weedle is Mo uh, Sun exclusive. We are going to just run, um, ooh, it's a female. I am a male, I am a dapper male, uh, fitting for a bow tie, I suppose. And we find ourselves a Peralice heel. I hear some festival music going on, though. Uh, we do make it out of the grass in enough time to make it up here, too. Why aren't I talking? I'm just making this noise. There's a rock right there, and he's playing with some boys we got. The Alola region made up of a four island. Each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is to express our thanks to these great Pokemon deities for always remaining by our sides. <clears throat> well, we may call it a festival, but it's just a little thing you can see. There's not many of us, but at least every last one here goes at all. Goes all out. So, I think that now is actually the best time to go ahead and cut today's episode. I do want to say thank you so much for tuning in sticking with us throughout the beginning of our real adventure here in the Alola region. Um, on tomorrow's episode, we are going to go ahead and explore the festival, maybe get into a battle with it looks like how up there, and see what other sort of shenanigans we can get into. But now that's all said and done, I'm going to go and peace out, and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. See ya!